But I do have another question, I added. Proceed. Your ad said, must earnestly desire to save the world. Yes. What do I do if I earnestly desire to save the world? Ishmael frowned at me through the bars through a long moment, for a long moment. You want a program? Of course I want a program. Then here is the program. The story of Genesis must be reversed. First, Cain must stop murdering Abel. This is essential if you're to survive. The Levers are the endangered species most critical to the world. Not because they're humans, but because they alone can show the destroyers of the world that there is no one right way to live. And then, of course, you must spit out the fruit of that forbidden tree. You must absolutely and forever relinquish the idea that you n know who should live and who should die on this planet. Yes, I see all that, but that's a program for mankind. That's not a program for me. What do I do? What you do is teach a hundred what I've taught you and inspire each of them to teach a hundred. That's how it's always done. Yes, but is it enough? Ishmael frowned. Of course it's not enough, but if you begin anywhere else, there's no hope at all. You can't say we're going to change the, well, the way people behave toward the world, but we're not going to change the way they think about the world, or the way they think about divine intentions in the world, or the way they think about the destiny of man. As long as the people of your culture are convinced that the world belongs to them and that it is their divinely appointed destiny to conquer and rule it, then of course they're going to go on acting the way they've been acting for the past 10,000 years. They're going to go on treating the world as if it were a piece of human property, and they're going to go on conquering it as if it were an adversary. An adversary. You can't change these things with laws. You must change people's minds. And you can't just root out a harmful complex of ideas and leave a void behind. You have to give people something that is as meaningful as what they've lost. Something that makes better sense than the old horror of man, supreme, wiping out everything on this planet that doesn't serve his needs directly or indirectly. I shook my head. What you're saying is that someone has to stand up and become to the world of today what St. Paul was to the Roman Empire. Yes, basically. Is that so daunting? I laughed. Daunting isn't nearly strong enough. To call it daunting is like calling the Atlantic damp. Is it really so impossible in an age when a stand-up comic on television reaches more people in ten minutes than Paul did in his entire lifetime? I'm not a stand-up comic. But you're a writer, aren't you? Not that kind of writer. Ishmael shrugged. Lucky you. You are absolved of any obligation. Self-absolved. I didn't say that. What were you expecting to learn from me? An incantation? A magic word that would sweep all the nastiness away? No. Ultimately, it would seem you're different from those you profess to despise. You just wanted something for yourself. Something to make you feel better as you watch the end approach. No, it isn't that. You just don't know me very well. It's always this way with me. First I say, no, no, it's impossible, completely and utterly impossible. Then I go ahead and do it. <laughs>